Welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl, JVB. How are you guys doing? First and foremost, as always, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reactions as well as my own music in the description below. You're going to find all the links. I would so appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a post of mine. And also check out my Patreon. I would love for you to be part of that. And with no further ado, a leap ba ta doing bohemian rhapsody we are ready for you ali i am super excited so with no further ado we're gonna get straight into it because there's nothing left to say other than let's go i just did the putri reaction the cover song bohemian rhapsody so i'm excited to hear ali they should collaborate that'd be so awesome <laughs> play that with just two hands <laughs> you know what i'm saying this is so crazy honestly this is not a guitar song and it's just uh, he is just so amazing okay we're gonna start one more time like from the beginning it's just like right away there's so much going on <laughs> how he really gets more intensive with the strumming at points at certain points and it makes sense because like just how Frederick sings it more Frederick Freddy <laughs> sings it more intensely right um it's just so good how he really interprets it because he always plays the vocal line and that is just so crazy he plays like the accompaniment and then also the vocal line crazy Absolutely crazy. It's so freaking beautiful.
Oh, I love that. That is such a signature Alip song. gave us the whole thing how does he play that on the guitar i mean that is a masterpiece queens fully produced and he stripped it down and it felt like a big production you know what i'm saying but it was just him that's crazy i have to say every song he picks he knows that i can do this and because why 
because he feels it. Artists that pick cover songs, usually you pick a cover because you are, it, it resonates with you, right? Usually you pick, you pick a cover because you're like, I love that song so much. You never really should pick a cover, cover because it's popular because it will show through. Like if you're not completely feeling it, people will notice, right? Because we can tell. Um, but with Ali, when he does it, it feels like he wrote it. It feels like he composed it, like he created this masterpiece. His finger technique is so crazy fast and good and accurate and also so tasteful. When he plays his guitar, it really always feels to me like he wrote the song. It never feels like he's doing someone else's song and he's trying to you know, get through it. And that is not an easy song. He knows his guitar so well. The guitar is an extension of him. He is so masterful at his instrument that he just knows what to do. He knows where to go. And I, even if he doesn't know at the moment, he will explore and try things until he figures it out. This song sounded so full. I, I had to wrap my head around. This is a one man playing one guitar. <laughs> Because I can tell how, you know, if, if there were like two or three guitar players playing different parts, but it was just a leap and he did such a great job. It's just crazy, crazy good. So in the comments below, let me know what you thought of this version of rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody by the one and only Ali Bata. Um, I'm blown away. I mean, that totally blew me away. I, I, that's all I have to say. Always love him. And um, I just love his song choices too. It's very, very creative and it's very authentic to who he is and what he does and what what fits his style. You know what I mean? Because there's always a leap within the versions that he does. So with that said, I'm looking forward to the next one. I also really love his own music, obviously. Um, just love Alip, you know what I mean? There's so much talent in Indonesia. Thank you so much for watching, for being here. Alipers, I love you. In the comments below, let me know what should be the next Alip reaction. What did you think of this cover? Did you like, What, what did you feel the same way where you're like, oh my God, like how can one guy play all that at once? <laughs> you know, but it's practice. It's having the skill and the dedication and the persistence and the consistency consistency, I would say, like just to practice, practice, practice. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with something uplifting and positive as always make every day a great day and whatever you want to do and you put your mind to, you can do it. Meaning, if you want to learn the song, then really dedicate the time and the energy to it and you will blow yourself away on how capable you are. When we don't push ourselves, I feel a lot of people, including myself, a lot of times, you know, if you are one of those people who likes to exercise, which I do, I do yoga and I love Kundalini yoga, for example. And there's a lot of exercises that are just like really challenging. And our body, our mind wants to say, I can no longer hold these arms out like that, right? Like I have to stop, like it's hurting. But it's really just your ego protecting you saying, okay, we are reaching danger and we have to stop because I want to protect you. But don't always believe that voice because that sometimes is just fear or giving into our limitations. When in reality, give yourself count at least three times longer. Or if you're doing like breath exercises, right? And you're holding your breath open and you think, oh my God, I have to take a breath and count three more seconds. Go a little bit further each and every time because when you don't stop, when you keep on going, then you know what it's like on the other side and you will experience the joy and the, the celebration and the victory when you've passed that limitation that you thought was there, right? It's not there anymore and now you go a little bit further and a little bit further. So give yourself that permission. Give yourself that discipline that whatever you want to do, you are capable of doing it. You just have to push yourself a little bit harder each and every time. So with that said, for whatever that in any situation could be anything, right? Learning, relationships, um, self mastery, addictions, all that kind of stuff. Like just really practice that and see who you are on the other side. Because who we think we are is not who we are. We are so much more. We are so much more. So dig in and have fun with it. 
and I'm going to see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click the links in the comments below, in the comments below, in the description below, and I will see you in the next one. Much love.